cash flow from operations refers mainly to operations that are reflected in the income statement and operating assets such as accounts receivables and operating liabilities such as accounts payables. Cash flow from investment refers mainly to the investment side, which is reflected in changes in non-operating assets in the balance sheet. Cash flow from financing refers mainly to the financing side, which is reflected in changes in non-operating liabilities and equity in the balance sheet. Let's write all this in detail. Under the first category, we have the cash flow from operations. We have the bottom line on the income statement, which is represented by net income. Then we add depreciation, because depreciation and amortization are what we call non-cash expenses. As this expense is not associated with any other company, it is associated with the loss of value of our own assets. Then we subtract the change in net operating working capital, which is estimated as operating current assets minus operating current liabilities. We subtract the change in operating current assets as the negative sign refers to a negative relationship between change in cash and change in assets. This means higher assets results in lower cash and lower assets results in higher cash. Examples of change in operating current assets are change in accounts receivables or change in inventory. We add the change in operating current liabilities as the positive sign refers to a positive relationship between change in cash and the change in liabilities. This means that high liabilities results in high cash and lower liabilities results in lower cash. Examples of change in operating current liabilities are change in accounts payable or change in other current liabilities. Then we sum all these items together to get the net cash flow from operations. Under the second category, we have cash flow from investment, which refers to non-operating assets. We subtract the change in assets as the negative sign refers to a negative relationship between change in cash and change in assets. This means higher assets results in lower cash and lower assets results in higher cash. Examples of change in non-operating assets are change in marketable securities, change in fixed assets, and change in intangibles. Then, we sum all these items to get net cash flow from investment. Under the third category and last category, we have cash flow from financing, which refers to non-operating liabilities and equity. We add the change in liabilities and equity as the positive sign refers to a positive relationship between the change in cash and the change in liabilities and equity. This means higher liabilities and equity results in higher cash and lower liabilities and equity results in lower cash. Once a company generates profit, the company can distribute dividends, which are cash given to the owners. From the company's perspective, this represents a negative cash outflow, so we use a negative sign for dividends. Then, we include the change in non-operating liabilities. Examples of change in non-operating liabilities are change in notes payables, change in current portion of long-term debt, change in long-term loans, or change in long-term bonds. Then, we include the change in equity. We get the change in contributed capital. We do not include the change in retained earnings as retained earnings is a part of the net income which is included under our cash flow from operations. Otherwise we would be double counting. Then we sum all these items to get the net cash flow from financing. Finally we add the net cash flow from operations, net cash flow from investment and net cash flow from financing in order to get the total net cash flow. Net cash flow shows the change in cash between the two consecutive years.